Hi, I'm Kelsey from the University of Rhode Island Nutrition Education Program. These videos of ours are designed to help parents and caregivers develop skills known as the keys to success. These keys can help you become a more effective parent and may help your family adopt healthy habits like eating more fruits and vegetables, having more sensible serving sizes, and being more physically active. Remember, children and situations are all very different. Not every tool here will work for you and for your family. And that's okay. That's why we have many of them for you to learn and to go ahead and try. Think of these as your tools in your parenting toolkit. Today's video will introduce you to both the paths and the keys to success. The paths to success are habits or behaviors that research show help children be healthy and prevent health problems like heart disease and diabetes later on in life. We also know that these actions help families be healthy and to feel good. Let's take a quick look at each path to success. Our first path is drinking water and milk instead of sweetened drinks. Sugary drinks like soda, iced tea, lemonade, sports drinks, and energy drinks, although maybe tasty, are loaded with added sugar. They also don't have the vitamins and minerals that kids need to grow, play, and stay healthy. Save sugary drinks for once in a while treats. Except energy drinks. These are never safe for children. Offer water and milk most often to keep children hydrated and healthy. Our next path is eating more vegetables and fruits. Vegetables and fruits are full of vitamins, minerals, and fiber, yet most kids don't get enough. To help your child get the amount they need, offer at least one vegetable or fruit at each meal and snack time. Serve different colors throughout your week, and remember, they don't always have to be fresh. Frozen, dried, and canned fruits and vegetables are nutritious, they often cost less, and they're easy to keep on hand for when you need them. The next path is playing actively. Kids need at least 60 minutes, and adults need at least 30 minutes of activity per day to stay healthy. Play together. Any movement that raises your heart rate and makes you sweat counts. Take a walk, do some chores, dance, go play at the playground. These are all great ways that you can stay active. Another path is eating fewer high-fat and high-sugar foods. It can be hard to eat healthy when you're very busy. Many convenience and fast food options are very high in unhealthy fat and added sugar. And too much of these can put you at risk for health problems later on in life. Try eating these foods less often or in smaller amounts. Next, we have the path limiting TV and computer time. Opportunities for screen time, TV, tablets, computers, phones, and video games are everywhere. While screen time can have educational benefits, kids are spending far too much time in front of a screen and therefore not getting enough time being active. Try limiting screen time to one, maybe two hours per day. Our last path is having sensible servings. In addition to offering nutritious foods to your child, it's also important to help them eat the right amount of foods. Offer small servings at meals, allow for seconds if they want, and encourage your child to listen to their body to decide when they are full. Often, just knowing what is healthy is not enough. You need techniques for how you can make these healthy changes fun and successful for you and your family. This brings us to the keys to success. These are keys or skills you can use to help your family adopt the paths to success we just discussed. The four skills or keys to success are showing, teaching your child by setting a good example, guiding, Offering choices to your child within limits. Supporting, helping your child feel good about themselves. And shaping, making healthier choices easier for your child. Although we will be focusing on how to use these keys to adopt healthy habits, they can be used in all kinds of parenting situations. One way to think about the paths is to see them as habits, things you do so often that they just become part of your life. Let's talk about the six steps you can take to create these healthy habits. Step one, think about change. For example, you want to eat family meals. You have heard that children who eat with their families, eat healthier, do better in school, talk to their parents more, and have fewer behavior problems. Step two, choose steps to take. Making big changes is hard. Start with small steps and then keep going. For example, if you want to eat more family meals, Maybe you decide to bring home pizza once a week and eat it at home as a family, with a salad on the side and no screen time allowed. Or maybe you decide to cook breakfast and eat together on the weekend. 
Step three, find support or help. Talk to your family and friends to get support. In the family meal example, you might need to talk to other adults in your home to arrange schedules. What day should be family pizza night? Or what morning is best for family breakfast? Involve children in planning whenever possible. Step four, go ahead and try it. See how it goes. Not every step here will be successful, but some may be easier than you think. Everything you try is a step forward. This is your chance to turn that TV off when you get home with the pizza or try family breakfast. Step five, keep trying. The more you do it and the more support you get, the easier it will be. Even if it doesn't always go as planned, don't give up. Maybe family breakfast didn't work this week because of a soccer game. Try again next week. Or you can go back and decide if you need to change your steps to make it a more realistic habit. Step six, make it part of your life. If you build healthy habits this way, eventually they will become natural and you will not need to think about them. After a while, family pizza night or Saturday morning family breakfast will become a regular routine in your home and your family will complain when it doesn't happen. Keep these steps in mind as you continue watching our other videos and start working on your own family healthy habits. My name is Kelsey from the University of Rhode Island Nutrition Education Program. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and will join us for more.